We're going to have a look at how to create a new term base in SDL Trados Multiterm using a term base definition and an existing terminology in multi-term XML format. To begin, we go to the term base menu and select Create Term Base. Then we give it a name. In this case, I'm going to create a master term base from my exported terminology from MemoQ. Click Save. And then in the term base wizard, we click Next. And we're going to load an existing term base definition file. So let's browse and find that. I've got it on my backups drive. In my MemoQ backups, under Terminology, KSL Master, and there it is. The file extension is XDT. We'll select that and click Open. Next, I'm going to give the term base a name, and I can add a description and copyright information if that's relevant. We'll click Next, and these are the various languages that are in the term base. I don't work in all these languages. I've added some terminology in other languages for the occasional demonstration. And we'll simply click through until we get to finish, and we're done. The term base has now been created, but it's empty. So let's go ahead and import some terminology. We do this by going to Catalog, to Import, and here we right-click and select Process. Let's browse for the import file, and there it is. This is a file in multi-term XML format. We'll select it and click Open. Click Next, and I'm simply going to go with the defaults, but I need to name my exclusion file. Click Save, Next again, Next. There are about 33,000 concept entries in this term base. So let's see how long it takes in real time to import this. The export from MemoQ took less than 30 seconds. The file is about 80 megabytes large.